Welcome back everyone. I hope your Nano Remo week two has gone great so far and I hope you're already riding in week three. In this update, I'm gonna tell you what I've done in week two, what I'm planning to do in week three and hopefully invite you to share about your progress as well. Right, my progress for week two of NaNoWriMo. This week, I've done just over 17,000 words, bringing my total up to 32,000 words. Like I said last week, this was spread over several different writing projects. Writing resources to give tips and advice to other writers out there, YouTube scripts, blog posts, and a whole lot more. Please let me know in the comments below what you've done in week two so far, and hopefully what you're already writing in week three as well. My week three is pretty much the same as the first two. I'm aiming for around about 15 thousand words give or take hopefully more again this will be spread over several projects it'll be spread over more writing resources blog posts short stories and also a few more scripts for youtube and my second channel i'm also redesigning my website i'm trying to get it more accessible so it's easy to navigate to find tips and advice now let's talk about a few tips for week three and week four as it does definitely start to get more difficult at this midpoint slog in NaNoWriMo. Tip number one, refer to your outline. You know that magical thing that I mentioned just before we started? Yeah, that thing's gonna come up now. At this point in NaNoWriMo, it does definitely start to get a lot more difficult. The trick here is to use your outline as a guide only and don't be a slave to it. My process is I go back to my outline in between my writing sprints. And what I do is I change it, I tweak it only in a very minor way because I don't want to get bogged down by editing it too much because again, it's not set in stone. Nothing too detailed, but by changing it in a minor way, it will help you to kind of remind yourself where your writing has come so far. So if you don't really feel inspired or you feel demotivated by just the sheer amount of number of words you've still got to do, it'll kind of give you a push in the right direction, a bit of a framework to follow. Tip number two, listen to music. I truly believe that music can help you be a better writer and it can definitely improve your productivity as a writer. Or oh, it's just me anyway. However, if you do find yourself um, as someone who gets distracted by lyrics, I definitely do, then listen to music which is more ambient or instrumental in nature. This helps me to stay in a certain kind of mood when I'm writing a certain scene or a moment in a story. And also just make sure the music you listen to fits that certain mood or certain moment in the story. You know, if you're writing a scene where a likable character dies, then listen to music that is sad, that kind of highlights that poignant moment within the narrative. If you're writing an action scene where the protagonist is running away from an unspeakable horror, then listen to something that has faster beats and faster rhythm to it. Tip number three, kind of a tip, just keep at it. Just try to keep your writing simple. Don't get bogged down by any editing and try to tell other people, other writers, people in your community of the progress that you're doing and the achievement that you're trying to, well, achieve. You can do this on the NaNoWriMo site. You can do it in Facebook groups, Twitter. You can do it in the comments below of this video, whatever's more comfortable for you, but sharing your achievements will definitely give you that accountability factor. And Ironically, don't get distracted too much by social media. It's actually one of the reasons why I haven't posted as much this month because I've been focusing on my writing so much. But that's okay. This month is only 30 days and it's 30 days which challenges you to be as prolific and as creative as humanly possible to get a massive achievement. And it doesn't matter whether you've only done 3,000 words so far or even if you finish the challenge so far. It's a huge achievement either way. I hope this video has helped motivate you all at this kind of midpoint slog in NaNoWriMo. Just remember you aren't alone and there's many people out there who are also challenging themselves with NaNoWriMo. Remo, Rimo. Okay, in the comments below, please let me know what you think. Is it NaNoWriMo or NaNoWriMo? Because I honestly don't know anymore. So please like this video if you thought it was helpful to you. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. And please, ironically, share this video on social media so other writers who are getting to that kind of midpoint slog can be at least pushed a little bit further in their writing progress this month. Happy writing and I'll see you at the end of week three.